Center for Youth Studies presents For Tomorrow's Sake, a radio drama serial that examines how our attitudes, patterns of behavior, and lifestyles can and do boomerang for good or evil. Today's episode is titled Spoils of Lust. It is written and produced by Shei Sonja Bankole and directed by Austin Awulonu. Spoils of Lust. Nojimo, the vice president, the original layabout, soap de my hand. How about dinner? You know, dear Tolo Mustafa. What thing do you? You feel this me 5k? What thing you want to do with that kind of money, Noji? I get small problem. You won't settle person where you give belly? I won't go hospital. What thing do this our own? No, we start price, then we'll give you. I be you don't catch disease where they shame you. You be rich. Now, my number six, they work over time. Mustafa, I beg, the thing won't kill me. To peace, now hala. Now so so bon bon, the thing they burn me. I no sorry for you at all, no Jim. I no want you as you the jolly jolly with rookie where they waka waka anyhow. You don't see yourself now. Mustafa, I no feel use this place. You know say I take go now this nurse for staff. I should not grin my own now. Now bash me go be for me, make I go meet her see I get disease. See? If I be you, I go throw away face, use this clinic. Ah, Mustafa, no feet. You know, say them sabi work for here. Decide where you go, go. Are you sure, say them sabi anything? Mustafa, the thing don't tire me, yo. I don't know what it be. Whether na gonorrhea or syphilis. If they keep man no, no gym. Now you go get gonorrhea and syphilis, you hear? Me, I get sense now. I no get longer throat like you. Now for where I go jam when I they talk, say you they use your hand, they find wala as you they come with rookie. You talk, say my mouth they smell. Now who in mouth they smell now, not Jim. Coming. Hi, Auntie Buki. Do you have a minute? Oh, come in, Billy. I was just tidying up my desk to leave. Sit down. Thank you, Auntie. How are you and our baby doing today, Miss Bile Amos? All the better for seeing you, Auntie Buki. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to the clinic today? Something occurred to me, Auntie Buki. My blood group is negative. You have a negative resource factor. Uh, yes. What if the person I... The person who... If the father of your baby has a positive resource factor? Yes. The resource factor has a significant impact on females, not on males. Let's take a woman whose blood group is, say, A, negative, and her partner may be O, positive. You know my blood group is A, negative. I didn't remember. Well, in pregnancy, if the baby inherits the father's positive resource factor the woman begins to develop antibodies to the positive antigens in her baby. Another instance of self-preservation, right, Antibuki? Quite right, Billy. But it has some terrible effects down the line. If the woman and her baby are not properly monitored in pregnancy, the baby will die. Not if the woman and her baby are properly monitored in the pregnancy. She will deliver the baby, but subsequent pregnancies are threatened in that the antibodies the woman's red cells produce will start attacking the real cells of the baby in her, ultimately destroying this. It could kill the baby. Yes. This could lead to stillbirth or severely anemic or jaundiced baby, which will need blood transfusion in the first few days of life to live. Hmm. Is there any hope for such a woman? Excuse me, Billy. Yes, Atego. No, we don't use their antibiotics anymore. They have a problem with NAFDAC. I'll be right over. Sorry, Billy, but I need to look into this. Auntie Buki, you were packing to go home. I love this job, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's
Raleigh, you want some hot dog with that bread? Yes, please. Raleigh, you know you might end up marrying one of those men you date. Why do you say so? You want to get out of poverty for life. Here, take. Thanks, Ejire. But I'm not in it for the money. You know I don't date two men at once. So why do you date only the rich ones? Hmm. Mind yourself, O Ejire. Look, Raleigh. I know your parents are just primary school teachers in the backwaters who keep getting all their salary by successive governments. I believe you're just looking for insurance for your daily bread. And like the good daughter you are, you send some of the spoils of loss to your parents to tie them over till their next paycheck. Come, how do you explain the money to your parents? None of your business. Uh, how are you and Sam Badu? Sam who? Ejire. Sam Badiru is not the kind of guy I need in my life. So why did you go into a relationship with him? For effect. Hmm. You know, law student, house in quarters, Ajeboa ascent. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take my time before going into any other relationship. Next one is for keeps. How can you guarantee? One, I've started using contraceptive pills like you. Two, I got a coil implanted in my womb. And three... I'm going after the guy, so I'll choose who delivers the goods. Hey, Jire. Sorry I had to sort that out. You work hard for the money, Auntie Buki. Believe, Bile. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to talk about what happens to a woman whose blood group's razor's factor is negative. And her husband is positive. Like I'm A negative and let's assume my partner is O positive. I told you such a woman begins to develop antibodies to the positive antigens in her baby. You said she will deliver the baby, but subsequent pregnancies are threatened in that the antibodies the woman's red cells produce will start attacking the red cells of the baby in her womb and ultimately destroys it. Yes. This could lead to stillbirth or severely anemic or jaundiced baby which will need blood transfusion in the first few days of life to live. But there is hope for the woman having other babies, right? Yes, Billy, there is hope. <sighs> what we normally do for such a woman is immediately after her first baby is delivered, we give a shot called Anti-D. The brand name is Rogan. This mops up those antibodies produced so the subsequent pregnancy will not be threatened. I see. And Sibuki, now I know why some women have one child, but sometimes start experiencing miscarriages and subsequent pregnancies. It could be the reason, yes. Or it may be something else. We will need to know the blood group and the genotype of the person responsible for your pregnancy, Belay. Mm. I knew you'd say that, Auntie Buki, but... <laughs> it's very important, Billy. Auntie Buki, I can't. I don't want to let him know I got pregnant for him. It was a terrible mistake. Billy, no. <laughs> No, Jim. Now waiting. No, Jim. No be peace. You just peace here now. Waiting, Mustafa. No, Jim. The peace look like blood now. Now you go peace blood, Mustafa. No, Jim. You the peace blood. I say now you go peace blood, Mustafa. Now why you come quick pour water wash and come out for gutter? When person know they work, now what kind of rubbish you go they see? Eh. Now so your mouth they run entire road anyhow. Mustafa, you know say you you not get work. I get to work with them, they pay me for, for this clinic. Make you come out like I won't do it. No, Jim. Now that you won't die because of common shame, so 
If na cost, now you go die. You hear? You this hear ye lay about? No, Jim. When person they piss blood, na bad thing don't they shell inside them body. Oh. Go see nurse at Tego before you die like common foul. You know, see as you they see for my body, eh? No, Jim. See as all kind dirty come food this place. Hey, now maybe a dirty, no, Jim. Okay, when ground tall pass you. Now that time you go no say Mustafa no be dirty. He am bare for months you go wrong. So far I go jam the Peking where no they hear what. Palava, you do fine. Palava, you don't get to. You have been listening to Spoils of Lust, another episode in our drama serial, For Tomorrow's Sake. It came to you, courtesy of the Center for Youth Studies. You heard Titi Akimoyu as a jure, Tess Kikelomo Ake as Bile, Neka Kujobi as Bukola, Kweju Akeyemi as Mustafa, Ronke Unikosi as Rolly, and Bolaji Olayemi as Nojim. For Tomorrow's Sake, was written and produced by Shea Sonja Bankole. Glory Williams was sound engineer, while Austin Awolono directed. Email your comments and questions to Center for Youth Studies at Saint Figo 4, that is Center for Youth Studies at yahoo.com, or send text to 080-827-20297. 080-827-20297. For Tomorrow's Sake is a production of the Center for Youth Studies. Join us same time next week for another interesting episode. For